a Kenyan youth ready for leadership? Is it really their time? I'm here with a few youths to tell us their views. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Paul Sam. Samuel, are the youth ready for leadership? Of course they are. They are ready. Why do you say so? You're not just. I am saying so because uh, we find that we are tired of being like a, a step over to some people to go to the, the next stage. The politicians. Yeah, of course. So what what can be done to to get to empower the youth? So the youth have to be empowered in order to uh, capture their leadership potential. One, uh, we need to somebody has to come up and give us uh, that strength and nurture the leadership of uh, our youths in order to be able to stand, to be, uh, to be like uh, aspirants of the country. Thank you, Sam. Habarizen? That's not that. Well, now, then the youth work all tired. Youth work already in Leo. Why? Some will find most of the MPs are more allowed to the you for the parliamentary seats on exploits. Most of our equal concern are matters of my own. I'm part of the Maramingi with the Chagua. I'm in the Kule, and I saw the constituency on the Chagulu and all of that. Okay, Santi. And he is a lady to give her her views. Hello. Hi, are the youth ready for leadership, especially the women? Yeah, we are ready. ready. <laughs> Tuchagwe youth so any one I that could jam in a fly yet. Okay, Santi. So according to the youths, it is our time. We should empower the youth and vote them in so as to take the place of those old people who have messed up our country. Leila reporting for Media Focus on Africa. Garissa.